So anyway, where you go there. Yeah. So obviously, yeah. So you imagine that this is Liam's unhappy, unstable position where he's susceptible to dislocating, subluxing. Um, um, so you imagine that if it's abduction, external rotation, sort of talk physio here, we want to try and sort of get them in the opposite direction and then take them to stop them from that. So more internal rotation. Some of my real sloppy footballers, I've had them in real cross body positions and kind of internal to really stop them from getting even anywhere. Because the tape will give a little bit during the game. Really important to probably have your skippy spray because when they start getting sweaty, mm -hmm. it's, gonna, it's gonna come off and it's just a nightmare and you're trying to tape at half time and they're sweaty and yeah, it's just bash your head against the wall. So um, obviously with girls, if you if it's a female team, female team and you're pretty comfortable, you could probably do it skin to skin if you can, but if not, go to the bra. It's not going to be as ideal, but mm. do I? Mm. Why's that? Mine's locked away in, in the clinic. Oh yeah, your bag's in there. Uh, Security. That's a Chris <laughs> problem. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> he gets paid the big bucks. So yeah, so obviously the main <laughs> things that we're going to focus on when we're trying to strap in terms of landmarks. So I'll start with the rigid to kind of mimic what we do to kind of help offload the rotator cuff, help support the AC joint, which I would do under this elastic kind of taping anyway on top of when we kind of go around under his armpit, around the body. We can just do it half if you want, yeah, not do it too tight. <laughs> have to use scissors, so. Um, so yeah, we can start with that. Obviously similar things, making sure, be really careful how sensitive some people are on the inside of their upper arm. Sometimes I'll put a bit of gauze or just some hyperfix under there. Hopefully there's not too much armpit hair there, so I try and like avoid that if I can. Um, so you kind of got to be prepared, like if you're the athlete. Actually like them well, yeah. Oh, sorry, well, sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, we're in trouble. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Um, you, you so yeah, so sure you made that bet with you. Should have clearly, yeah. the, the hair is kind of one thing to consider as well. Because obviously, when you start testing, when you're playing around with it after, they're like, oh, it hurts my hair, not my. I can't even get up here because I'm. It's killing me with that. So um, I like to typically start in this kind of position. So a bit of internal rotation not really much sort of abduction. And like I said, if they're really unstable or they go, no, this doesn't feel good, you might go, all right, let's get you a bit more, let's get you a bit more here or across your body. And we do the same thing. So, um, you're off with this around your skin. Yes. You'll be all right. <laughs> so, Just obviously we start with our, our anchors. So kind of somewhere roughly just below kind of the big, big deltoid over here. Medium just, size. Yeah, me, yeah <laughs> medium size. <laughs> I don't like to go circumferentially with this, just with the face. I'll go over it gently <coughs> after, just so it's locked in there. Um, and then just above, so if you follow his collarbone, we find his AC joint here, I go just past that. Sorry, sorry, kind of like mid chest. I'll be doing it. So kind of like roughly middle, majority of that scapula, mid chest. Sometimes I'll go a bit further down, depending on how they are, because obviously if I'm going to go and fan this out, Depends how much they like. So if you just turn around quickly. So you can go down as far as that mm -hmm. if you want. Sometimes I'll also put, I should have said this before, the hyperfix underneath that first bit of rigid to kind of be like here and here if they really don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> Some people hate the rigid strain on their skin. So mm -hmm. just know your athletes and double check that all you, you learn after the first time you've faked and gone, sorry, you know, go get some cortisone cream or we'll see the doctor and get that sorted out. So, so that can happen. Some, some people do. So some people have irritation. Sorry, Liam, other way around, mate, please. And then just like we were doing with the MCL, kind of just fanning it out to support it. I go from the upper, upper arm to the sort of like lifting it up a bit to not necessarily hitch, but just give them a bit of support. So starting on the base, measure it so it's roughly slightly shorter than that, than the anchor, give it a bit of a lift. And then, oops, it's not so beautiful there. I'm just going to crease there, sorry. Fail, fail. It's got to look good. It's got to look, look, look good. good. good, good, play. Play. good yeah, yeah, right. So I'll do a few vertical ones just to kind of, if I had a bit of a broader shoulder, guys, I'd probably use a thicker tape. So, but we'll just do three. Just really small than you in the gym, mate? Please. 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 <laughs> so yeah, and then I'd start going a bit more diagonal, fanning out. Just kind of connecting the dots really where I haven't kind of gone over, lift it up. So for the purpose of brevity, I'll just do a couple more. So kind of measure it. Make sure you're all experts at ripping the tape, please. That's my one mm -hmm. pet peeve as a physio, of people trying to cut the tape. Whoops, that's a bit short. Well, don't do what I just did then. How many students did you fail yeah. this year for getting the tape wrong? Uh, none yet, actually. They're all okay. So just some OCD off you that. Think we're joking. I'll fix that one up. Uh, um, so let's pretend obviously we keep going depending on how sloppy or unstable they feel, then obviously make sure that you lock it off. So kind of over that base, cover up all the not so pretty bits. 
and just for your name, I won't go and do a gentle yeah, on anyway, because you hate that. me. Yeah. But obviously, I've locked that off. And then, I might get you to turn around for me, please. So when we get to the elastic, so I like trying, trying to follow the top of the scapula, the spine of the scapula. Put your hands on your hips, please. So this is starting position. You do the, we'll just do half of it for you. All right, so, so we're kind of feeling the top. You're trying to make sure we don't go too far down low. Obviously, I'm trying to keep an eye on your armpit here. I give it a bit of a gentle pull into internal rotation to stop him from getting into external. And then once we kind of get, I'm oh, sorry, man. Sorry, where's your hair? Yeah, so I, I, go, I go circumferentially quite gently. So just, we're not trying to cut off any circulation. Circulation's kind of important. And then we go kind of fold it up and around, kind of marrying it up, just probably around that AC joint area. And then normally I'd be, you turn around, sorry. Oh uh, yeah, this way, we'll dance this way. I'd probably try and go just below the nipple. Sometimes I'll cover the nipple with a bit of hyperfix just so it's not irritating it because it's the worst feeling if you've got tape and it's rushing and swelling and uh, so sweaty and all that kind of stuff. So we'll kind of go under here, hook under, and then I'd, and then I'd literally, I would literally marry it up to where I sort of started and kind of kept going. So, and then if you just pretend to test that out, we dance around this way again, sorry, probably not tight enough, but obviously so then I'd try and go a bit more anterior of the shoulder. I'd kind of just fan around a little bit, just so I'm not going over the same level again and again. So hopefully, oh, you are you your hair? Yeah. Good, that's really, right. yeah, really strong that is, it's not even going anywhere, so, um, yeah, so obviously we're going to oh. <laughs> not really get it. Oh, that was really nice. That was very nice, it's still bloody sore.